for him. Mm -hmm. Against a against the Ridley, however, Ridley's got multiple jumps to play with. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to have to be extra pinpoint with those with those snipes and taking his opponent's jump mm -hmm. off. And Ravus choosing to electing to go straight to the ledge. He doesn't yeah. mind playing from the corner. It would yeah. it would seem. The thing is, you have to remember Ridley's command grab side B. Yes. If he hits it off stage, he drags you down underneath the stage with him. Yep. The uh, the hilariously named Space Pirate Rush. Yeah, is that actually what it's called? I believe so. Wow. <laughs> like, get, like even, I can't believe I got I can't believe I got eliminated by Space Pirate Rush. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a kind of cool name. And Ridley is a space pirate in the Metroid series. It's true, it is his occupation. Why not mm -hmm. name his moveset about it? Yeah. There we go. Leon putting him to the side, baiting out the air dodge, but didn't quite space himself optimally to punish it. Yeah, I think this is the first time Bravus is actually playing neutral so far. <laughs> yeah, just, you just run, run, puts himself at disadvantage and we'll play back from there. Mm -hmm. Nice he, parry. Gets, mm. caught with the forward, gets caught with the down tilt, sorry. And against something you have to watch out against Ridley is his massive neutral air. Yes. Um, the, the, the move that does your dishes and puts your kids through college for wow. you as well. I think we saw first hit of uh, Nair, Tobacco there. Yep. Very clean. Nice conversion. Jab, one, two, three. Manages to use that, uses the space he gets from that just to reset the neutral. Mm -hmm. Claims half of the stage for himself. Nice there. Reads, reads the roll back onto stage, ready with the back air and mm -hmm. claims the stock. Evens this right out for him. Now we're back to neutral again, and Leon getting the juggles, and That's that might be one thing. Like we all know, the Ridley's too big for Smash memes. <laughs> yeah, too big, but not too heavy. He can die. Yeah. He dies a reasonable percent wow. percent in this game. And also, did you see that up smash there? It's yeah. so huge. It covered, like on these two ledges where you don't like I said before like you, your tech rolling space is limited mm -hmm. like that's going to cover a lot of options that Leon has yeah so Leon eventually just has to mix up his timing exactly. on the rolls oh I've just realized something that Bravus wow. has to be careful of his recoveries um, mm -hmm. are susceptible well one of his recoveries is susceptible to being countered yeah of course Leon if he predicts that you're going to come or reacts to the fact that you're going to come back onto stage in a linear fashion, fashion mm -hmm. Like, he can run off stage throughout the counter and you're in trouble. Oh. Nice use of the intangibility there to yeah. get back onto stage. Using that was the really well spaced. Let's see. Ravis just. I've been noticing he just likes hanging out on ledge, not doing anything, just waiting for Leon to do something and then getting back. Catches him behind him, and obviously there's the mix up that he needs to watch out for. Yeah. Um, the Space Pirate Rush is obviously yeah. going to be the oh, counter. Down yeah. throw? Down throw. Taking stocks at stupid high percents. Yeah. They're Mid doing exactly the same, mm -hmm. it, at, at reasonably low percent. Yeah, not as ludicrous, but... but... As we were mentioning earlier, Ridley not the heaviest of heavies. Yeah. I think he's like, same as Richter, I believe. Like, around 107. Yep. For, now, f funny for a character that is considered to be too big. Mm -hmm. That was considered to be too big. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. Leon, oh my goodness, wow. the baits. He's forcing him to burn. He's not got many jumps left. Good accuracy from Va Ravens going straight back to the ledge right there. Mm. He wanted that interaction over. He just yeah. wanted whatever intangibility he could be given by the game at that point. Yeah. And I think that was the really smart option going to reset. He'd be safer going straight back to ledge. Mm. But again, right now, Ravus, he's kind of struggling to get back to neutral now. Leon doing a really good job at just keep it, keeping him in disadvantage. But the Nair is going to get him out. And now, this is almost <laughs> even. Like, Ridley doesn't need much to get a stock here. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the thing is, uh, well, I get the feeling Ridley, uh, Bravus wants his stop, his stops at low percent to come from. Mm. Oh, absolutely forget that as far as this game is concerned. Nice read on the Space Pirate Rush. <laughs> he spaces himself perfectly for it. He dashes away, using that run speed, just start, starts charging an F-Smash. Takes game number one. Mm -hmm. But it, that was a very close game one, that has to be said. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't a walkover. No. Um, I mean, it is winner semi-finals of the pool. Yeah, so you, you kind of expect a certain yeah. level from both players. The competition is going to be really hard, as this tournament is pretty sta stacked. Oh, yeah. Um, both of these players very strong, considered very strong in their own regions. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're both on their respect. Uh, I think they're both on their respective PRs. Yeah. I think Leon appears on the most recent French one. I could yeah. just check. Um, Maybe my French PR is a little bit outdated. Um, but if I'm not yes, mistaken, it is outdated. Oh. my apologies. But if I'm not mistaken, Leon and Glutony are double teammates. Yes. And they play together all the time. Of course. 
which is great help for anyone. Oh yeah, imagine Europe's number one is your training buddy, but Leon is a brawl veteran. He's yeah. been playing this game for ages. He's, um, I remember hearing stories about this fabled brawl main who played, who was really good in, in brawl. Mm -hmm. um, not brawl main, sorry. Uh, this fabled <laughs> um, Marth main who was amazing in brawl, but just did not play Smash 4 because he didn't like the game. Yeah. But that player has returned in Ultima, mm. and you can see the way he re he, thro he he throws his threat bubble around the stage right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, he makes very little of the space a safe environment for Bravus mm. to be stood in. Yeah. I feel like there's something very just, uh, I don't know how to put it, just something very calm and collected about his Lucina. Yep. And the uh, way he plays. Like, he never panics, it seems. He always knows what he wants to do. And right there, getting the Nair 1 to the forward smash. Yeah. Um, it, the, the, the second thing about him is he not only knows when to press buttons, he knows when not to press buttons. He seems to have a very good read on when Bravus is going to throw out his panic options, yeah. his defensive options, burn that air dodge, and he's ready oh. with something. He's ready with an option. However, right there, getting caught, sleep, getting mm -hmm. caught sleeping on the platform yeah, gets the, rushed. Yeah, the town and city counterpick coming in very clutch there for Bravus. Yeah. Because uh, this stage has uh, pretty small side blast zones, and you also have the side platforms, making the distance even smaller. But now, Leon utilizing that as well for his advantage. And it's kind of like what I was saying before. He waited for Vra for Bravus to sort of drift in tr and get scared. Mm. Of well, look the at this bubble. neutral. Yep. Oh. Stare down. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Something's is there a going controller on. Issue? Is there a controller issue? Why has everybody stopped? Oh. Oh. Has there been a disconnection? Mm, no, I think we would have gotten that screen up, but something is going on. Yeah, I, I, I suspect that we've had a controller map function. Oh, that's oh. always unfortunate. Or oh, wait, or is it, did the platform, do the platforms on a uh, town and city move if hazards are on? Yeah, they move. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. It's not a control, yeah. it's not a, yeah, oh, it, yes. yeah, it's a controller map function. Yeah. yeah. So I thought we might have had a, uh, a, uh, a hazard on flub on the stream set. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, their screen has cut off. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait. So um, we're having mm. a technical difficulty as far as the stream setups mm. con confirmed. So we're having some um, some technical difficulties as far as the stream is concerned, uh, and that's not for the stream. That's literally the players' screens. It is always unfortunate when things like this happen, and we'll just have to wait and see how it sort of plays out. And so. Uh, the, reason, the reason they just stood there is obviously because this is the stream setup, we don't want any mistakes. Oh, as should be on all tournament setups, the pause function at Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate Tournaments is turned off by the rule set in the menu. So it's not like they can pause and go back um, to the uh, and just resume the game. So what's happened? What you're seeing happening right now is probably what's going to be a restarted game, uh, uh, maybe two stocks to one. Because you can't have um, you can't you can't just have the timer ticking down and then restart with one minute to go with one player at a one stock advantage. Obviously, because that would be quite unfair. Because the other player would have had the um, the benefit of maybe six additional minutes to try and bring that advantage back. Because obviously, the player who's ahead while you are um, while the timer runs out is going to take the game. Oh, there they go. They found the secondary B Tech budget pause option. But I don't think that's going to be enough. I think they're going to have to restart this game and maybe simulate the um, simulate the the stock difference manually. So it was 36% advantage to uh, on that particular stock to Leon as well, I think. Um, but yeah, it's always unfortunate when these things happen. Uh, Leon, Leon, sorry, uh, obviously not quite impressed because that was a game that he had the uh, puntage in. And it was, uh, so it's probably going to be restarted at that stock difference. I was just mm. explaining to the stream how this, how this will probably play out. Yeah. Uh, both players will probably be forced to, um, will probably be forced to restart the game and yeah. simulate the stock difference mm -hmm. by, um, by extension. Yeah. Fortunately, there wasn't too much of a percent difference no. on that final stock. I think Leon was like 20% or was, something. I think it was 36. But oh, yeah. Fortunately for this game, uh, fortunately that this happened in this set because neither of these characters have mechanics that benefit over time or over damage oh, taken. Yes. So it's easier to simulate. So there's no wafts that, no, that need simulating or that somebody's mm -hmm. going to lose. There's no Arsene. There, um, 
there's no uh, there's no like Terry gauge or limit. Yeah. Forget what Terry's gauge is called. Just I think it's go. just go. Go. <laughs> go <laughs> exclamation go. mark. Yeah. So this is this is a pretty easy game to simulate. Mm -hmm. But when like you this isn't the first time that you like technical difficulties happen at events. Yeah. Like is there famously Evo twenty fifteen, if you all remember Momoji's stick disconnecting in grand finals oh. of Street Fighter Five. Yeah, and so another playing having to come in <laughs> with a, with the uh, with the save. And it was quite interesting in the way that they handled that is because obviously oh. there's the um, super meter. Oh, we're back. Oh, we are back. I ignore that. Ignore me talking about totally irrelevant games for the um, for the moment. Oh. oh, and we've had another disconnect. No, no, no. Oh. no that's just the stream. <laughs> that's just us. <laughs> no, we're, and yeah. we're straight back into the action. Mm. But they, oh, no, they're not re-simulating no, this. No, they're no. going straight back into it with three minutes timer. left to play. Yeah. yeah, with three minutes left to play. They didn't realize that they could go back to the home screen because obviously pause is turned off. Yeah. So it took them about two or three minutes for yeah. somebody to come over and hit that home button for them. Yeah. So they've lost three minutes of game time right here. But, but it's still. not like these games were going to time beforehand. No. Like, time is running against Ravis right now, who is, yeah, looking to almost lose his uh, last stock here. Yeah, be dropped down into the loser's bracket. Yeah. Yep. There we go. No! no. Wow, that was Leon, great DI. Yeah. But great DI, but great spacing from Leon to, to cover that option to begin with. Yeah, absolutely. And really limits, really limits Bravus's mm -hmm. movement options and escape, escape options from that. Yeah. And obviously, unfortunately, uh, the situation in that game, both players thrown mm -hmm. into a negative mindset, being forced to keep their composure yeah. in a situation that they really mm -hmm. shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. But really good stuff to Leon. Yeah. Can't take anything away from no. him. And Bravus is going to have another opportunity to bring this one back through loser's bracket. Yes. Something I noticed about Leon's Lucien is he hits more near one into kill or into yeah combos than I've seen anyone else do. He's very good at it and.